So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. Always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. I can't imagine how difficult it must have been out there. Well, at least I wasn't alone. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but... Having adults around was something we couldn't trust. Pretty brave. A bunch of kids living alone like that. I don't know. Looking back on the whole thing, I think we were just lucky. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, you've earned it. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass... I mean... I know I tend to be arrogant, and I come off like I want to be alone. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to do a little bit of exploring and grabbing some magazines. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Before we start adventuring, I want to let everybody know where we're at. We're over at the Egret Tours Marina. That is at South Boston here. Or, well, just below South Boston, because this is South Boston here. We're going to be exploring all of this area. All right, now that that's been said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to head north up this road. Then we're going to hang a right, start making our way east. We're going to be going in that building in just a second. First, we want to take out these super mutants. Eyes on my back. There's going to be three of them, at least three of them, with nukes in their hands. So be very, very careful. Just starting to have fun. I can hear him now, but I don't know where he's at. Where are you, bud? There he is. There's another one right over here. 
But I don't know if he's up top or down below. Safety off. I think we have company. Where is he? Did he fall through the world or something? I hear him. I just don't know where he's at. That's the scary part. Is he in here? Okay, well, we'll just let that be for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over here. If you want to start the Volt 88 DLC, you can go in here and start that. It's not the only place to enter. It's just the easiest place to enter. Oh my god, McCready. Come on now. This shouldn't take long. I'm going to be very, very careful. Some rad roaches over here that's going to come out. terrifying I don't know where this suicider is and I really hope he's not in here he is Ooh, that was scary I don't know why he was in there he, he should not be there so right here we're gonna have one two three four we're gonna hit one and then we're gonna hit three and four here and that's gonna open up all of them well, maybe you should have followed me, McCready. I'll make this quick. Be really careful in here. There's a ton of traps. Don't open that door. It's a trap. Just came over there for the loot. This is the way that we want to go. There's a ton of traps, so if you do not have your sneak very high, be very careful over here. Every room has a new trap. And then you're going to have these grenade bouquets. So if you're low on grenades, good place to stock up. Be really careful over here. If you trip these handmade trip wires, there's going to be a rocket launcher that shoots this car. Car explodes, everything catches on fire, and you possibly die. Take care of that trip wire right there. And then we're going to hang a left, and then another left. You behind me, McCready? Ah, oh, thank Jeebus. Finally, you figured it out. Be really careful. We're going to have a ton of ghouls here in just a moment. I'm not throwing a grenade in an enclosed building. Find anything useful McCready. on him? That's dumb. That's how we do things around here. Eh, that's here. not that bad. <clears throat> now that's what I call a confirmed kill. Up. 
pretty sure all the ghouls came from over here. It's kind of what it's insinuating. Let's go ahead and put a level in. We will put a level into... I want to do locksmith, but I think we're going to do rifleman first. And then we'll do locksmith. And then after that, we're going to start working on luck. We're going to put two into luck and then start working on bloody mess. We're going to max that out. Maximum damage potential. Right over here, we're going to have a ton of trip wires and these um, bathroom scales. Just going to disarm them. I'm only doing this for the experience. Even though it's not that much experience, it's enough for me to want to do it. really happy on how sanctuary is coming along too i've been doing a lot of building on it we're gonna open up this latch we're not gonna go that way i just want to open it up just because okay don't open door one or three we're gonna go through two go ahead and take care of this handmade trip wire Then we're going to hang a right. And then we're going to hang a left. And then right over here. Bingo. We're going to get a hot rodder magazine. That's going to give you some pink paint for your power armor. As soon as I get master locksmith, I'm only going to need one lock pick for the rest of the game get the rest out of my inventory so if you like kims you can press this button and you can go in there and loot a bunch of kims if you like fusion cores you can press this button and go in there and grab the fusion cores as soon as you press a button the other place the, the other place the other uh cage is going to blow up so it's like a multiple choice whichever one you favor Now we're going to come down this hallway. We can stand up. You can go over there to go to Milton Medical Center. We're not even worried about that. We're going to circle around here. Go to the top. And we're going to enter up at the top there. don't see any super mutants over there. I know there are some over there, but none we got to worry about at the moment. I'm going to have to start using some grenades. going to open up this door, grab ourselves a fusion core, crouch, and then go into Fallon's department store. We're going to open this door. Be very careful. Bunch of super mutants and super mutant hounds. One is going to have a minigun. So be prepared. I think he's circling around here. Yep, he is. If you want that minigun, go ahead and pick it up. We're going to go inside here. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't realize the door was going to open up on me. Nice. Grab a La Cafe. I don't know how to pronounce that. Whatever the name is, we're going to get a hairstyle, oh, a new unique cry. hairstyle. Now suffer for your arrogance. Whatever. Huh? Gonna burn you. Gonna kill you. We're going to exit out of Fallon's department store. 
That was just a quick in and out. We can stand up. We're going to backtrack just a little bit. And now we're going to go all the way to the bottom. Go to Roxbury Station. Sorry if this makes everybody dizzy. Close your eyes for a second. It'll be done in just a moment. Alright, it's done. We made it through. You can also enter Fallon's department store from over there. But I find it to be easier to enter through the top of the building. We're gonna crouch in just a second here. Go inside West Roxbury Station. Ah. Ah. Someone there. My, uh -huh. it, gotcha. We can come in this bathroom, disarm the tension trap, grab a cap stash, and then disarm the makeshift bomb. Man, McCready, you're being really buggy today, aren't you? Eh, I'm not, I, they're, they're just throwing so many melee weapons at me. Sorry, Doc. I don't think this one's gonna make it. Come on! Not many super mutants in here. We only have one more to kill and then we're good. We can walk around freely. I mean, honestly, we could walk around freely. We're pretty strong. We're going to come over here. We're going to press this button. It's going to move the train so that we can come over to this side and then we're going to press this button here. I wonder where this train is headed. I doubt there's much track left for it to run on. And we're going to hop up, hang a left, pick up some day tripper. Right away, and then right over here, perfect. We get a tumblers today, so now locks are going to be even easier to pick. Now we're just going to backtrack out of here, start making our way towards. Now we're going to backtrack out of here and start making our way towards Shaw High School. gonna hang a right head east and then Shaw High School is right here let's go ahead and crouch turn our pit boy lamp on and head into Shaw High School Turn around. Right over here we have a cap stash. It's a pain in the ass to get. 
Nice. And then let's uh, lockpick the principal Tanner's desk. That's it. We're going to grab the library key. And then we're going to go into this terminal and unlock that door. Get a ton of mintats. The reason there's mintats in here is because of the story or the lore behind this high school, which we will listen to a hollow tape here soon about what was going on with this high school. We're going to be going in that door here soon. First, we're going to take out that super mutant. Loot him. Then we're going to use the library key to unlock the door. Take out the turret. Make sure to grab this frag mine up. Disarm the tripwire. Getting hungry. Makeshift bomb. Someone there! Nice try! <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. What a mess. Right here's some more overdue books in case anybody needs them. Hell yeah. Here's our fourth Unstoppables magazine. Now we have a 4% chance of negating all damage. Use the library key and then we are going to listen to this hollow tape. All right, Burton, I'm here. Hurry up, out with it. I have a lot of plans for this summer and none of them involve chatting with you. Why, Ronald, I'm hurt. Skipping the pleasantries and getting right down to business. And after all we've accomplished together this semester. For the last time, you little snot, it's Principal Tanner. Fine, Principal Tanner. I'll make this quick. You've been giving me mentas to distribute to the students quietly and under the nose of the faculty. I have. Because of this, test scores have skyrocketed. The school board has noticed. We received quite an increase in funding. But the faculty doesn't know. No one here knows except you. And now, me. You've been skimming off the top and pocketing most of the funds. I want 50% of what you're embezzling. We'll go to Superintendent Marcella with this. What? How did you... When did you get so smart? You've been giving me brain pills every week. What did you expect, you pathetic little man? Well... So what if it's all true? No one's going to believe you. You're just a kid, and I'm the principal, and more importantly, an adult. Oh, I think they'll believe me, Ronald. Especially after they hear you admit everything in your own words. What are you talking about? Wait, is that a hollow tape? You son of a... Let's go ahead and exit to the Commonwealth. We can stand back up. We're going to head east again. We're going over to Jamaica Plains. Be very careful when going into Jamaica Plains. There are a buttload of ghouls that want to munch on you over here. Go ahead and crouch. Come on, we're here. Don't tell me you actually believe that buried treasure nonsense. 
ghoul rolling up behind us. Jamaica Plains can become a settlement if you want. It's actually a really cool settlement. I like it a lot. If I wasn't doing a walkthrough on it, it definitely would be one of my settlements. We're doing a ton of damage now. want to stay back here we're about to get swarmed by a lot of ghouls in just a moment maybe they ever want to come over here if we come around this barrier we can get the Jamaica Plains Town Hall key Find Carl's log ones. if you want to read his log you can just talks a little bit about the crew that was trying to loot Jamaica Plains and how it all got messed up We're going to go in this red house. We're going to have some more ghouls in here, so be prepared. One right there. One right there. And then up top. Bring in the pay. Rest yet? Just keep going to the top. If you want and you feel brave enough, you can inch your way off and fall down there. But I'm going to show everybody how to get up here. You want to get to the top of the peak here and then just continuously walk forward and hop and you'll get up here be able to loot that ammo box then just go down the steeple where are you at McCready did you fall all the way down good lord bud McCready is pretty clumsy. Yeah, he did fall all the way down. Good job, bud. And then right over here at the back, we're going to loot Luke Silverhand, which I think is a nod to Cyberpunk with Johnny Silverhand. Not sure. I can't confirm that. I don't know what the devs were thinking when they named him, but that's just what I think. Be careful. There's still a ton of ghouls over that way. We're just going to follow the road around. Right in here is a workbench to claim Jamaica Plains, but you do have to clear out all of Jamaica Plains before you can claim it. Feral over here. Oh no shit, there's ferals over here. Stock up another kill from me. Right there is the workbench to claim Jamaica Plains. 
And I'm pretty sure we have cleared out the town. Now we just got to go into the mayor's office. Or the town hall. I guess mayor's office, town hall. It's all the same thing, right? Find him! Find him! Move, McCready. Jesus, dude. Where'd that ghoul go? It's there he is. Joke. We're gonna go to the top. We have a couple more ghouls to deal with. And then one right here. Oh, then up. one that'll fall down. And that's it. Over here, we're going to get Jamaica Plains Mayor's Password. We're going to get Sal's Holotape. We're going to listen to that Holotape real fast. Let's go into our Pip-Boy. Miscellaneous. Go down to the S's. Damn it, worthless bastards. Scattered like rad roaches the moment they saw the first ghoul. I've spent months prepping for this op. There's no way I'm backing out now. That treasure will be mine. Even if I have to dig it up with my own bare hands. We can go into this terminal and unlock that safe. Don't make me poke through all this garbage. And then we can hop down here and then we can go into the Jamaica Plain Town Hall basement. There's no enemies down here, so don't be scared to walk normally. We are going to turn our pit boy on though. Over there, you can lockpick the door and go around. Right over here is where we could have went if we wanted to go around all that. The key right here to open that door. Kind of irrelevant at that point. It's like, okay. Let's go in here. We're going to use the mayor's password. If you don't have the mayor's password, you're going to be fighting these protectrons. I agree, McCready. Let's pick up the 2076 World Series baseball bat. Perfect. And then we're going to pick up the treasuries, or the treasuries, the treasures inventory. You can read that if you want. And then we're going to listen to the hollow tape. Welcome to the treasures of Jamaica Plain. Within the walls of this time capsule, you, our descendants, will find the items and mementos we treasured in the year 2077. To you, 200 years in the future, these relics may seem quaint, but we hope that they will remind you of our place in history and your own. As we laid the foundation for the world in which you live, so you too will lay a foundation for future generations. May that future be bright. On behalf of all of us in 2077, we wish you well. This is Mayor Alyssa Park, speaking for the town of Jamaica Plain. I 
I think it's hilarious. Everybody was searching for this big treasure and it was just a time capsule. We're going to go out here. We're going to head east again. Lots of heading east. And then we're going to hang a right. Start going south. And then we have a lot of raiders to deal with over here. So be prepared. If you have to, do a quick save before you get over here. Because there's going to be a ton of guys everywhere. We're going to crouch right here. Sometimes the Brotherhood of Steel will be fighting over here against these raiders. Sometimes the Mechanist robots will uh, be fighting. Should that thing on your wrist be clicking that much? No, it's just because we're next to some irradiated barrels. Just keep going this way. stay topped off here well oh, there's a guy behind us how the hell did he sneak up behind us or she I'm sorry my bad lady oh shit grenade Just be super careful. Take your time if you have to. The raiders aren't going anywhere. I'm all over this. Oh, they'll be fighting gunners too. I think I said that. I don't know. No, I didn't. There's the Brotherhood of Steel. Or no, those are gunners. Don't land on me. Don't land on me. Okay. I was like, don't land on me. I didn't realize gunners had uh, vertebrates. Interesting. Disappearing act. Huh? <laughs> I think one of them blew themselves up. Can't be leaving that skull behind. There's so many enemies in general. We're coming over here for a grognak, by the way, everybody. Ouch. See ya. Ripperonis, homie. They're down below. Wonder if they're over here. <laughs> I did not mean to go into my pit boy. Shouldn't have even used vats. Damn! Lost. Fucking grenades, man. I think that's everybody. 
thankfully. Yeah, right here is a tripwire and uh, a laser pistol. I think there's a grenade, too, that falls. But we're going to come up to the top here. Right over here is a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Bingo. You can lockpick the safe if you want to. Steamer trunk to loot. Right here, I think this is just a warning from the gunners. Letting them know that they're going to be um, fighting them soon or trying to take them out. Fighting for territory. I don't know. I don't know. All right. We have everything dead. We might as well come over here and end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.